Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part 8 of the same topic. We have already done few questions. You can have a look at the previous video. So we'll start with question number 6. Find the volume of a right circular cylinder whose curved surface area is 2640 centimeters square and circumference of the base is 66 centimeter so this is a right circular cylinder so this is a cylinder so you know this is the base of it so now this is the circumference of the base means this will be 2 pi r circumference of base of cylinder 2 pi r and this is given as 66 so below this we are going to write 66 first thing we are going to find out by this one we can find out uh, this what is the radius so 2 into this pi is 22 by 7 and we don't know the radius so now if we take this one this side 66 into 7 and this will go in the denominator 2 into 22 because it is changing the side that is r so now 22 ones are 22 threes are so this will be 21 by 2 which is going to be 10.5 which is radius so now we will see they said find the volume of a right circular cylinder and this curved surface area is given as 2640. So curved surface area of cylinder that is the formula is 2 pi rh and that is given as 2640. So now from this one we are going to find out h. So now here this will be 2 into 22 by 7 and the radius we found out here that is 10.5 and into h so this is going to be 7 ones are 7 1.5 so to uh, this will be 2 6 will be as it is and this will go in the denominator so up, after simplifying this we got this value of h is 60 by 1.5 so we can also simplify this one but we can also keep as it is because there is a decimal and to avoid the mistakes so we can keep as it is so now because we want the they have asked for the volume of cylinder so for that we need the value of h so volume of cylinder means the formula is pi r square h so 22 by 7 and we got the value of r is 10.5 so 10.5 into 10.5 and this we can put here the value of h is 60 divided by 1.5 so now what you can see here Seven ones are this will be seven ten point five divided by this seven. So seven ones are seven. Seven fives are thirty-five. So this will be one point five. So now this one point five and this one one point five gets cancelled. So now what we can what remains is twenty-five into ten point five into sixty. So that will be one three eight six zero centimeter because this is a volume. So you will write here centimeter. Cube. And one more thing here you can write here this is the height will be in centimeter. Now the ratio of surface area of two cubes is given as 16 is to 49 and you have to find the ratio of the volume. So total surface area here because the ratio of surface area means the formula is that we can consider this as S that is 6A square. So let total surface area be here the ratio is given so we can write it S1 and S2 and volume will be V1 and V2. So S1 by S2 means the formula is 6A square. So we can write it 6A1 square divided by for this one we can write as 6A2 square. So now what you can do here 6A1 square divided by 6A2 square and the ratio is given as because the surface area is given as 16 is to 49 means that we can write as 16 by 49. So now this 6 and 6 gets cancelled. What remains here is a1 square divided by a2 square. This is 16 by 49. So now when you take the square root on both sides, so that is going to be a1 by a2, that will be, this will be root of 16 is going to be 4 and root of 49 is going to be 7. So a1 by a2 is going to 4 by 7. So we can say ratio of the volumes. Now we will see where we are going to because they have asked the find the ratio of volumes. So this we got the value of a1 by a2 is 4 by 7. So ratio of the value volumes is v1 by v2 is a1 by a1 cube divided by a2 cube. So 
v1 by v2 so we got here a1 by a2 this is 4 by 7 so the cube of that one so v1 by v2 will be when you take the cube of this as well as this one 4 into 4 into 4 so that is really 16 16 for the 64 and 7 into 7 into 7 that will be 49 into 7 that is going to be 343 so we can write a ratio because we want the ratio this is in fraction ratio of the uh, cube is 6 to for this one we can also write this 16 is to 343 a water tank is 1.4 meter long 1 meter wide and 0 0.7 meter deep how many liters of water can it hold so length of the tank this is given as 1.4 meter breadth is given as 1 meter and the height is given as 0 0.7 so the volume of the tank the formula is length into breadth into height so we can plug in these values here so after multiplying this we get 0 0.98 meter cube and this can be written as 9 by 900 and because they asked the liters in liters so 980 liters so i have done the calculation for you here how to convert this meter cube into liters so now you know this is the common one one meter is 100 centimeter so one we want because this is in cube so we want first we'll go for one meter cube so one meter cube means what this is this is just meter so what i'm going to do here for one meter we have two zeros so cube means we will put here six zeros two 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 means this is going to be six zeros this will be centimeter cube so we want now see a one meter cube is one into this one six zeros centimeter cube so we want for 0 0.8 meter cube so this also is meter cube so below this we are going to write so we will find out how many meter cube is so what will you do here we are going to cross multiply so when you multiply 0 0.98 into this one you get 9 8 and 4 times 0 you can multiply and see so now we got for this one 0 0.98 meter cube will be 9 8 and this four zeros that is centimeter cube then so now we want this to convert into centimeter then we know 1000 centimeter cube is one liter so this 9 8 this will be centimeter cube will be how many liters so again because this centimeter cube we are going to this one so you might cross multiply so this will be this will go in the numerator and what is this is this is a single number that goes in the denominator so you are going to cancel out these three zeros so what remains is 980 liters so hope that is clear that is 980 liters you can have a look at this calculation the water from a cylindrical water water tank of height 10.5 meter and a base with diameter 4.2 meter is emptied into a cuboidal water tank of dimensions 50 meter into 7 meters into 6 meter find the height of the water in the cuboidal water tank so the diameter of first thing is given as cylindrical this tank is given as uh, this is the height given and the diameter is given as 4.2 meter so this is the diameter is 4.2 meter so from this one we can find out the radius so you know that this radius will be half of the this one diameter so that we can write this as 2.1 meter and height is given as 10.5 meter so now we want the first thing we will see the volume of the cylindrical tank so the formula for this is pi r square h so for pi we can write here 22 by 7 and r we got here 2.1 so 2.1 into 2.1 into h is this is 10.5 so when you simplify this you get 145.53 meter cube because this all is in meter so this will be meter cube now we will see this at is emptied in the cuboidal water tank of dimensions the dimensions are given of a cuboidal water tank so we can see a volume of cuboid the formula is length into breadth into height so what is the length given that is 15 into 7 into 6 so this will be 15 into 7 into 6 so when you multiply this you get 60 630 meter cube so now they have asked find the height of the water in the cuboidal tank so height will be volume of cylinder divided the base area of the cuboidal tank so now you know base area means that is going to be length into breadth so here you you got the volume of the cylinder this you got is 145.53 and this is the base area of the cuboidal tank means length into breadth what is the length length is given as 
this length and this is the breadth. So 15 into 7. Hope this is there. You can write also your length into breadth. So here, when you 7 ones are 7, 20.79. So 20.79 divided by 15, you can divide and see. So you get 1.386 meter, which is the height. So also you can write here height of this. Height of this at cuboidal water tank. So you can add one sentence over here. That is 1.386 meter. Now a circular peak with diameter 1.5 meter is dug to a depth of 21 meter. What is the volume of earth dug out? So the diameter is given as 1.5 meter. So the radius is going to be half of it. So 1.5 divided by 2. So now we can see the volume. Volume of this uh, because of cylinder that is the pi r square h. So pi is 27 by 22 by 7. And the R is 1.5 divided by 2. Again, 1.5 divided by 2. The height is given. The height is nothing but the depth, which is given as 21. So this is 21. So when you simplify this, 7 ones are 7 threes are 2 ones are 2 elevens are. So this into this into this divided by 2. So when you multiply this one, you get 74.25. And this is divided by 2. So this should be 37.125 meter cube. So now we can say volume of earth to be dug out is 37.125 meter cube. A river 10 meter deep and 100 meter wide is flowing at the rate of 7.5 kilometer per hour. Find the quantity of water that runs into the sea per second. So depth is given as 10 meter. The width means the breadth is 100 meter. So flow rate is what, what is given. It is flowing at the rate of 7.5 kilometer per hour. So now because this is in meter, so we whenever we have this one, we can convert this in meter per second. So now for this is kilometer, we can convert it in meter and the hours, we can convert it to second. So you know, a meter means one kilometer is 1000 meter. So we can write here 7.5 into 1000 and this is divided by R. So we wanted to make it to second. So one R is 3600 seconds. So you can write here 3600 in place of this R. So now this and this gets cancelled. So after you can simplify and see after simplifying, you get 12.5 divided by 6. So 12.5 divided by 6 can be also, when you divide it, you get, see here, 12.5 divided by 6. 6 twos are 12. Now this is 0. And now you are going to take your 5 down. So now since you are taking this 2 here, so that is going to be 0 your point and then you are going to put here one zero so this is going to be 48 and now see here six threes are 18 and it goes on so we can write here 2.083 meter per second so now area they said find the quantity of water that runs into the sea per second so now area is width into depth so the width is given as 100 and the depth is 10 so we can write here 100 into 10 that will be 1000 meter square so what volume is area into velocity so area is 1000 and the velocity means the flow rate that is given as 2.083 which will be in this will be 2083 kiloliters so by this one we have completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.